the United States finds itself at a critical juncture, grappling with the ominous specter of mounting debt that threatens to undermine its economic stability. Recent debates surrounding issues such as student loans and bailouts have brought to the forefront a concerning trend, the growing acceptance of modern monetary theory, MMT, as a rationale for unrestrained spending. Despite its allure, MMT represents a dangerous departure from economic orthodoxy, promoting the notion that governments can perpetually finance deficits through money creation without facing adverse consequences. However, this simplistic approach fails to account for the hidden dangers lurking beneath the surface, as unchecked spending risks fueling inflationary pressures, eroding the value of the currency, and jeopardizing long-term fiscal sustainability. As the allure of MMT gains traction, the need for a sober reassessment of fiscal policy becomes increasingly urgent. The seductive promise of limitless spending without repercussions obscures the harsh reality that unchecked deficits inevitably lead to economic turmoil and diminished prosperity. Moreover, the normalization of MMT poses a fundamental challenge to the principles of responsible governance and intergenerational equity, as the burden of excessive debt is disproportionately borne by future generations. Therefore, it is imperative for policymakers to resist the temptation of short-term expedience and instead prioritize prudent fiscal management grounded in sound economic principles. By confronting the hidden dangers of uncontrolled spending and reaffirming a commitment to fiscal discipline, the United States can steer clear of the perilous path paved by MMT and safeguard its economic future for generations to come. Modern Monetary Theory MMT, challenges conventional economic wisdom by asserting that nations with sovereign control over their currency have the capacity to spend without constraints imposed by traditional fiscal concerns. According to MMT proponents, the national debt becomes a moot point as governments can effectively borrow as much as needed, confident that the central bank, such as the Federal Reserve, will intervene if necessary. Consequently, the debt-to-GDP ratio, a long-standing metric of economic health and stability, loses its significance in the MMT framework. Advocates of MMT often cite Japan's remarkable example, where despite a staggering debt-to-GDP ratio exceeding 250%, the country continues to function without facing catastrophic economic consequences. Moreover, proponents point to the actions of former Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke during the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis as a real-world validation of MMT principles, as Bernanke's aggressive expansion of the Fed's balance sheet effectively demonstrated the ability of central banks to inject liquidity into the financial system without triggering runaway inflation or currency devaluation. However, while MMT offers an intriguing departure from traditional economic thinking, its proponents tend to oversimplify the complexities of fiscal policy and monetary management. Critics caution against the dangers of embracing MMT as a panacea for economic woes, arguing that the theory overlooks the potential risks of unchecked money printing, such as inflationary pressures and currency devaluation. Moreover, the reliance on central bank intervention to finance government spending raises concerns about the erosion of central bank independence and the politicization of monetary policy. As debates surrounding MMT continue to unfold, it becomes imperative for policymakers and economists to engage in a nuanced examination of its implications, weighing the potential benefits against the inherent risks to ensure the formulation of sound and sustainable economic policies. Modern Monetary Theory MMT, presents a seemingly attractive proposition, asserting that governments can freely print money without consequence, backed by the presumption that people will continue to trust the currency regardless of the level of debt amassed. However, this assumption overlooks fundamental aspects of human psychology and market behavior. History has repeatedly demonstrated that there exists an invisible tipping point where confidence in the currency collapses, leading individuals to seek refuge in tangible assets like gold or land. This flight from currency exacerbates inflationary pressures, eroding the purchasing power of money and sowing seeds of economic instability. Moreover, the specter of runaway inflation looms large as a potential consequence of unchecked money printing, despite MMT's dismissal of inflationary concerns. Throughout history, numerous instances of hyperinflation serve as stark reminders of the devastating impact excessive money creation can have on economies. As individuals rush to safeguard their wealth against the erosion of purchasing power, 
Inflation spirals out of control, wreaking havoc on livelihoods and undermining the fabric of society. Furthermore, the repercussions of MMT extend beyond domestic borders, exerting profound implications on the global economic landscape. Excessive money creation by major economies, particularly the issuer of the world's reserve currency like the United States, undermines foreign confidence and erodes the value of the currency. This erosion of trust can precipitate a collapse in the value of the dollar, triggering disruptions in international trade dynamics and straining diplomatic relations. As such, the critical flaws inherent in MMT underscore the imperative for policymakers to exercise prudence and restraint in monetary and fiscal policy decisions, recognizing the interconnectedness of the global economy and the far-reaching consequences of unfettered money printing. While proponents of modern monetary theory, MMT, frequently cite the interventions undertaken during the 2008 financial crisis as evidence supporting their theory, it's crucial to recognize a fundamental distinction between crisis response measures and sustainable economic policy. The actions taken in 2008 were born out of necessity, aimed at stabilizing a collapsing financial system rather than implementing a long-term economic strategy. Indeed, injecting liquidity into a system on the brink of collapse cannot be equated with the perpetual creation of money to finance ongoing government spending without accountability or consequence. The context of the 2008 crisis was one of emergency, where immediate action was imperative to prevent a complete meltdown of the global financial system. However, drawing parallels between these crisis interventions and the principles of MMT risks oversimplifying the complexities of economic management and underestimating the potential risks associated with unfettered money creation. It is a sobering realization that history has offered us repeated warnings about the perils of our financial system, yet we seem steadfast in our refusal to heed these lessons. The echoes of past crises, such as the long-term capital management bailout in 1998 and the 2008 financial meltdown, reverberate ominously in our collective memory. Despite these harbingers of doom, each subsequent crisis has been met with increasingly bold interventions and ever-expanding bailouts, masking the underlying structural vulnerabilities that continue to fester beneath the surface. With the ominous convergence of factors such as burgeoning student loan debt, record levels of national debt, and the growing acceptance of modern monetary theory, MMT, ideologies, the stage is set for an even more catastrophic crisis to unfold. The insidious cocktail of economic fragility, combined with a complacency towards addressing systemic issues, suggests that the question is not if the next crisis will occur, but rather when it will strike and with what magnitude. As the United States grapples with the looming specter of a debt crisis exacerbated by the allure of unlimited spending, the imperative for decisive action becomes increasingly urgent. Turning a blind eye to this impending catastrophe is not an option, as delaying the reckoning only ensures that the eventual correction will be more painful and disruptive. To navigate these treacherous waters, a concerted effort towards fiscal responsibility is paramount. The government must come to terms with the reality that spending must be curtailed, recognizing that difficult choices between implementing spending cuts and tax increases lie ahead. Only through disciplined fiscal management can the nation hope to rein in the burgeoning debt burden and lay the groundwork for long-term economic stability. Moreover, the focus must shift towards policies that prioritize economic growth and productivity as the primary drivers of wealth creation. Rather than relying on the illusion of printing money, policymakers should embrace initiatives that foster innovation, entrepreneurship, and investment in infrastructure and education. By nurturing a conducive environment for economic dynamism and innovation, the United States can chart a sustainable path towards prosperity. Additionally, there is an urgent need for a wholesale rejection of modern monetary theory, MMT, as a viable economic framework. Responsible economists and policymakers must unequivocally denounce MMT as a dangerous economic fantasy with severe consequences, advocating instead for pragmatic solutions grounded in sound economic principles. The future of the U.S. economy hinges on the willingness to make difficult decisions informed by a clear-eyed understanding of the perils of runaway debt, recognizing that MMT offers not salvation, but rather a perilous road to economic ruin.